What's up guys, Ben here and welcome to Motivation to Invest. Now I've received a number of questions from you guys asking for a beginner's guide to investing into the stock market. Well, I've listened and here it is. In this video, I'm gonna reveal my top five steps for investing into the stock market and more importantly, being successful at it. But before we dive right in, if you're new around here, why not join the community by hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on. That way you'll get notified when I'm releasing new investing tips and exclusive stock market picks, which I'm personally investing into. And if you do appreciate the value in this video, then feel free to give it a big thumbs up. That helps out tremendously with the YouTube AI. With that being said, let's dive in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, coming in, yeah, flex. I just want to win. So kicking things off at step number one is have a financial goal. Like anything in life, it's best to start with why. What is your motivation? What is your life goal? What is your financial goal? In the words of the legendary investor Warren Buffett, if you don't find a way to make money work for you while you sleep, you'll work until you die. To me, that's a really powerful motivator to get out there and start investing. As traditional schools teach people to work for money, but they don't teach people how to make money work for them, which to me is vastly more important. Remember, investing is just a tool to help you guys achieve whatever goal that may be. Of course, you can enjoy the process along the way, enjoy the wild rides, the ups and downs. I personally have a real passion for investing and I do love the entire process. I've read over 250 investing books by all the legendary investors and I've made over 250 investing videos for you guys. And as the old saying goes, if you teach, you tend to learn twice. But that's not all. I also have real experience investing into multiple businesses, both private and public, and I've built up a substantial portfolio over many years. And now in this video, I wanna share the knowledge I've learned with you guys. On to step number two is understand your risk tolerance. Now I can't stress how important this is, guys. You need to have great self-awareness if you're investing into stocks. Are you the type of person, if you see the stock market falling 40, 50%, Will you panic? Will you sell at the bottom when really that's when you should be buying? Buy low, sell high, that's my motto. I may just quit my job at the power plant and become a full-time stock market guy. Only you can answer that question about yourself and your own risk tolerance. But then on the other end of the scale, you've got this new generation of investors. Those with no fear, those will invest into any company blindly. Stocks only go up. And anytime you think they're going down, they're going back up. Both are complete polar opposite people. And to be honest, I think the best way of investing into the stock market is try to get somewhere in the middle. Risk does need to be assessed and that should be the first thing on your list. But fear and panic do not help any situation. Frightening, sir. Don't panic. We'll just move slowly toward the exit. And also remember, risk is not volatility. Volatility is how much a stock moves up and down. That's the ups and downs of the market. Risk is the likelihood of you losing your capital or your invested funds. Okay, just calm down. I am calming. Now, historically, despite all the crashes we've seen from the dot-com bubble in 1999 to the 2008 financial crisis to even the global health crisis crash in 2020, the stock market has crashed and risen again. In the words of the legendary investor Howard Marks, most of the time, the world doesn't end. And if it does end, you'll probably have bigger things to worry about. And in the words of the great investor Warren Buffett, be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. Those market crashes at the bottom, that's usually the best time to buy because you can get exceptional companies at discount prices. Now, if you're a regular viewer of Motivation to Invest, you'll know my motto is volatility equals opportunity. And I proved this during the 2020 March crash. I was investing heavy during that time when the world was in a state of panic and fear. And the results speak for themselves. I have multiple stocks which are up by 60, 70, 80%. I even have some stocks up by 200% and even one stock which went up by around a thousand percent just over that short period of time. But you've got to know yourself and know which investing style suits you. And that brings me neatly onto step number three, which is have an investing strategy. 
So you've got your investing goal, you've got your risk tolerance, and now you need a strategy to put all this into place. Let's play. So this goes back to self-awareness. You've got to ask yourself, are you more of a numbers person or a narratives person? Because both are important in the stock market. The stock market is not just a numbers game. If it was, we would see all accountants and mathematicians as multi-multi billionaires. To be successful in the stock market, it requires both sides of the brain. And that is what can be challenging for many people. But the trick is to understand yourself. I personally do what's called quantitative and qualitative analysis. Now, don't let those words confuse you. Quantitative is just the numbers side. So I dive into the growth rate of the company, the price to earnings ratio, which is the valuation. I look at the company's balance sheet. I look at the company's debt levels. That's the quantitative side. But then the qualitative side is about the brand. Is it a strong, exceptional brand with what Warren Buffett calls a share of mind principle? When you think of this brand, do you think of an automatic connection to a product or service? For example, if I say video streaming, what do you think of? Maybe Netflix. If I say taxi services, what do you think of? Maybe Uber. If I say electric cars, Tesla. You've got an automatic psychological connection with that brand. And that is an exceptional power which you need to recognize with certain companies. But then also on the qualitative side, you've got exceptional management. People can do incredible things. So you've got to make sure the right people are in charge of the right companies. I personally look for management which has skin in the game. Those founders of companies which are truly committed to the greater good of the business. People such as Jeff Bezos, who started Amazon 26 years ago and have grew it to over $1 trillion. But more importantly, Jeff Bezos still has over 10% of his original Amazon shares. Thus, if the company goes down, he goes down with the company. Other great entrepreneurs with similar attributes include Mark Zuckerberg, Steve Jobs, and Elon Musk. And then there's also the business's competitive advantage. Because this is really important, remember a stock is just a portion of a business. In the short term, it's based on sentiment, it's based on emotions such as fear and greed. In the long term, it's based on business fundamentals. In the words of the father of value investing, Benjamin Graham, in the short term, the stock market is a voting machine. In the long term, the stock market is a weighing machine. So the trick is to invest in exceptional companies at fair prices and then wait for the fundamentals to correct. Then there's also the company's competitive advantage. Does the company have something unique which no one else does? Does it have a competitive moat around the business? Let's take an example of Google. Google has a near enough monopoly on internet search. Thus, that's a strong competitive advantage and moat around the business. In the words of the legendary investor Peter Lynch, who's in this book right here, chances are if you like the product, you may like the stock. Thus, if you identify a product, a new trend, you see the shops selling out of this product, you see your friends raving about this product, this can give you an information edge in the market because chances are, if you like the product, you may like the stock and that can give you a little seed to start doing some more research and due diligence. Now, I've done a full video on my investing principles and my investing strategy, which I've constructed over many years by reading over 250 books on investing and constructing my own practical portfolio. So I'll leave a link for those videos in this video here and in the description below. So be sure to check those videos out after this one. So on to step four, we've got our goals, we know our risk tolerance, we've got our strategy, now let's construct our portfolio. So you need to construct your portfolio in a reasonable manner. I recommend diversifying across multiple stocks, industries, and geographically. I see so many people with what's called local bias and that they're overly invested into their home country. I especially see this with many UK investors. We tend to be overly invested into the UK and we tend to only see a lot of UK businesses. When to be honest, the best way of investing is to look at the global GDP of the world and invest proportional to the countries that make up the largest percentages. So I recommend portfolios be weighted the majority in US stocks, then followed by China, Japan, and Europe. That way, if one country is doing great and another is doing bad, your portfolio should balance out. Right, so on to step number five, and that is to open an investment brokerage account. I recommend using a free one. I see so many people still investing with paid investment accounts. To me, that's just completely bonkers. We're in a golden age of investing right now with the introduction of free trading apps. These accounts are free to sign up, free to trade, and many even offer free stocks. So if you want to find out more, if you're in the US, I recommend Webull. I've got a link for that 
in the description below. I believe you can get up to four free stocks when you sign up and deposit. If you're from the UK and Europe, I have links in the description below for eToro, Trading212 and Stake. Stake is a great app if you're in the UK and you want more exposure to alternative US stocks. Be sure to check out all those links. I'm personally investing into a variety of different brokerage platforms. I recommend at least three. That way you're diversified across different brokers and you can also get access to different types of stocks. So I'd love to know your thoughts on getting started investing. How long have you been investing for? What have you learned so far? And what are your favorite things about investing? Please do comment those thoughts below and I will respond to as many comments as possible. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video and you did find some value, then feel free to give it a big thumbs up that helps out tremendously with the YouTube AI. And if you're new around here and you still haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for guys? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button join the community and turn that notification bell on. That way you'll get notified when I'm releasing more investing tips and exclusive stock market picks, which I'm personally investing into. With that being said, I hope you guys have an incredible day and I'll see you in my next video. Invest safe.